Hello, I'm Mark Sumner, host of the Channel Chat podcast show, and today I have the pleasure of Matthew Parker, CEO of Babel in the studio. How are we doing, Matthew? I'm okay, Mark. How are you? Very good, very good. And thanks for coming in. Actually, is it the hottest day or the second hottest day of the year is going to be now today? So absolutely beautiful day for it, but we're inside in the air conditioning. So uh, thanks for turning up anyway. Matthew, I wanted to sort of get you into the studio because a lot of the listeners have asked me about getting someone about acquisitions. We haven't really had a guest on that can talk about them in detail. Now, one of the reasons that I really want to speak to you is because since 2018, Babel have done 18 acquisitions. Kick me off with that. How, 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 does, it, how does that even start? How, how do you even start with an acquisition? Because most, most companies aren't even thinking about doing acquisitions. They might be planning it, but, but to do 18 in four years, I, d- I don't know any company that's done that. Yeah, I think, well, gosh. Um, so how do you do it? How do you do it? You do it by just doing it um, and having a plan. If you look at, you know, when when LDC invested or supported the management buyout of the business that is now Babel in October 2017, it was very much on the basis that we had a platform that could be scaled and it would be scaled through a combination of organic growth but organic growth driven on the back of buying, building, and acquiring businesses. And, you know, if you look at the, the journey that we've been on and we're now on our third, the business is now on its third financial sponsor in Graphite Capital. So we've gone Living Bridge, man, management buyout with LDC, uh, secondary with Graphite, with um, LDC reinvesting. And it's, you know, for me, this is about building something um, material in our space in the UK. So something, you know, the the most recognisable and most relevant brand in our space, delivering what we do locally on a national basis. Um, And the most effective way to do that is is with a fairly, if not very aggressive buy and build strategy. But, but you don't start out with the plan of buying 100 companies, or, or certainly I didn't and we didn't. We started with, right, where, where do we want to be three years from now? Where would we like to be? What does that mean we need to have done by this time next year? And what do we need to be doing today to make that happen? So if you look at the first 12 months uh, under LDC's sponsorship, we did two acquisitions. So... Management buyout in 20, November 2017, two acquisitions in 2018. And then one, one of those acquisitions being transformational. We bought a business in the Midlands that doubled the size of, of, of Babel. Um, it took us from, now bearing in mind, I joined the business on the 1st of February 2016. There were 16 people in a room in the city when I turned up. Um, six, six, 16 staff. How old company was 16? company. The six, they, all sat, they all fitted around one. We're still in that office. We still have that room. We still have the same table that everybody was able to fit around. And tomorrow we've got Babel Fest 3 or Babel Fest 22, as, it, as it's been marketed internally, where we bring all of the staff together for a day of celebration, of sharing, of inspiration for the people that we work with. Uh, all the things I've learned from company conferences over the last 25 years and all the things that I don't like, we don't do any of them, we bring them <laughs> together. And we've got 250 people at the Belfry uh, tomorrow. Wow. So 14 people. Um, six and a half years later, to, to 250 people. So two deals in, in 2018, no deals in 2019. So you've done something transformational. You've doubled the size of the business. You need to make that work and you need to work out what it is you're going to do. And then we went into 2020 with a very clear view that going forward, you know, we doubled the size of the business in the first 18 months. How do we double it again in the next 18 months? How do we double it again in the next 18 months? And the objective here is to double the size of Babel every 18 months. So 2020 what you know was it was an interesting year for for everybody. Yeah. Um, it was it was a really interesting year for us as a business. It was you know for everybody at Babel. So we did a deal very early in the year. We bought a business called Diva Telecom in, in Leeds. Before anybody knew what COVID was, what a lockdown was, what I mean, we all knew what a pandemic looked like in, in the movies, but none of us ever thought we would experience one. And it wasn't even being thought about. 
We did that deal early in the year. We came up with a model that was really effective in terms of, of making these deals work, both from a financial and integration perspective. And we did another five acquisitions through through lockdown, sat at, at a desk in at home. We did another five deals in, in 2020. So you get to the end of 2020 and we've done eight transactions and the business is... 10 times the size it was that, that when, when, I, when I joined it back in, in at the start of 2016. Um, we bring a new sponsor in um, who uh, wants to support the next phase of growth in the business. And we spend the next 18 months between November 2020 and the summer of 22, where we are now. And we double the size of the business again. So nine acquisitions in 2021. Um, looking across our four product pillars, very specific, working out uh, what we're doing that, with those. And we've done four acquisitions so far this year, four deals so far this year. And what I've said to everybody internally and externally is we will do more deals this year than we did last year. And, you know, it's it's really hard to be any more specific than that because you, you're, you're genuinely not in control of these situations. You know, you're you know, buyers and sellers, you know, you've got lots, multiple stakeholders in most of these transactions. And, you know, you, and, and you can't just go out and say, you know, we're not, we're not buying a chair, you know, we're not, we're not buying a desk, we're buying, you know, a, an organization, we're buying something that's got people in it that has customers, that has shareholders, that has history, that has legacy, that has a personality and a culture of its own. So, you know, you can decide where, again, going back, where do we want to be in three years' time? What do we need to have done by this time next year? What do we need to be doing now? So at any given time, we as a business will have anything between two and eight transactions that we're working on, that we're thinking about. Um, And, you know, for me, if if you think about where we're going and we you know we have a very clear plan to double the size of the business again in the next 18 months we we know what two-thirds of that looks like you know we we did our biggest ever deal the week before last uh, we bought we bought adsi and and uh, we acquired a business called adsi in basel and essex massively successful uh, mobile for uh, mobile uh, business um and you know, we, we know what, I know what the next three or four transactions are, but as well as going and, and finding those deals and executing on them, you have to, on them, you have to work out what you do afterwards. I think, you know, we, we may have, we may have talked about this before, but the whole, um, some, somebody gave me a book. I don't know. I, I was working at, at, at Stepstone between 2003 um, and, um, I guess to 2010, so sometime in that period, somebody, a, a, a US based, a Texan friend of mine called Bucky Couch gave me a book called Four Frogs and a Log. Five Frogs, Four Frogs, Five Frogs and a Log. Um, a Texan friend of mine, Bucky Couch, gave me a book called Five Frogs and a Log. And it, this book is authored by two ex PWC MA partners, partners specializing in MA. And their point in that book is that most MA is decretive in shareholder value rather than accretive. So the the most, the, the majority, and bear in mind, you know, people in their heads think about majority, that means almost all majority is one more than half is the is a majority. That's how these things work. So most uh, MA activity destroys value rather than creating value. Um, and you know the 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 whole principle of the book and the title of the book is um, about people deciding they want to do a deal and everybody just votes for that. It's shiny new things. I, I, uh, I'm going to say I wrote a, a blog post a number of years ago about shiny new things in M&A. I, it was, I was helped write, writing it with somebody else that had my name on it, but it was it was my idea, this idea of if, if M&A is going on in a business, everybody wants to be part of that. You turn up with a new product and you know everybody wants, everybody wants the shiny new thing and wants to be involved in it. And, and the point about about five frogs and that is, you know, work out what you want to do, have some very clear criteria, work out what you're going to do afterwards and do it and measure it and deliver on it and, and do all of those things. And the, the whole thing about five frogs is you've got five frogs in a log and one of them jumps off. How many have you got left? And the answer is, well, four. And the answer isn't four, it's none. If one frog jumps, they all jump. So they've all gone. So... 
once people start voting for a deal and saying they want to do it, they, they tend to go with the flow and you've got to be strong and, and, and disciplined about why are we doing this? Let me go back and check what we said we we're going to do on the basis for that. So that, you know, there's, there are a myriad of work streams going on at any time that allow you to do this sort of stuff. And bearing in mind, you know, if, if we're going to double again and double again and double again, you either have to do twice as many transactions at the same size, or you need to do the same number of transactions at twice the size. And the, again, as I said earlier, you're not in control of that. You know, you're not in control of, of, of the businesses that, that you have the opportunity to 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 make part of part of your business. So you so you have to be able to deal with lots of different things.